welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide quality care for our clients in the same way we provide care for a loved one. June is National Aphasia Awareness Month. Aphasia is a brain impairment that affects someone's ability to comprehend language or communicate with others and usually occurs after a brain injury. The first recorded case of aphasia dates all the way back to 3000 BC in ancient Egypt, but there wasn't much attention given to aphasia until the 19th century when neurologists Paul Broca and Carl Wernicke were studying two different forms of aphasia. In 1987, the National Aphasia Association was founded by Martha Taylor Sarno after she found that the medical system didn't have enough support for people living with aphasia. Named after our 19th century neurologists, broke as aphasia presents challenges of severely reduced speech and limited vocabulary, while where Nikki's aphasia allows a person to speak well in long sentences, but often these sentences don't make sense. In addition to these two forms of aphasia, there's also anomic aphasia, which makes word finding difficult, and primary progressive aphasia, which is a gradual loss of reading, writing, and speaking abilities. Aphasia can also present other difficulties outside of language, like posing somebody to be at higher risk for abuse. Elder abuse affects 1 in 10 Americans, and types of abuse include self-neglect, financial, physical, mental, or sexual abuse, abandonment, and isolation. When someone is unable to communicate that they're being abused, it's important to be able to recognize the signs of abuse so that you can act quickly. Some of those signs to look out for include unexplained bruises or marks that could indicate physical abuse, evidence of harassment, coercion, intimidation, or humiliation, uncharacteristic changes in the person's behavior, a lack of basic amenities or necessities, and caregiver-invoked isolation. In general, nonverbal communication can be very helpful, but it's also very handy when someone is unable to communicate their abuse in front of their abuser. Unfortunately, 60% of abusers are family members, so it's often easier to be able to either communicate with nonverbal communication or separate the individual so that they can speak freely about what they're experiencing. It's really important to advocate for people who have aphasia, so if you see something, say something. While home care helps with activities of daily living, we also provide an extra layer of safety and peace of mind that your loved one is safe at home. If you suspect that your loved one is a victim of elder abuse, call your local Adult Protective Care Services office immediately. Thank you so much for joining me today. Remember, if you see something, say something, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Interested in learning more about our in-home care options or assisted living selection services? Give us a call at 860-533-9343. You can also find us on social media on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Always Best Care has been in business since 2009, and it's where better options for senior living are a priority.